our next technique is called dry brush. So I'm gonna get the violet. Now when your brush is loaded, it is loaded with wet color. Now eventually, that wet color will run out. <laughs> Maybe it'll take my old paper. Eventually it'll run out and you'll get striations like this. That is a dry brush. Um, now if you wanna expedite the process because you just wanna use dry brush marks, um, what you could do, I can get some of the water off of my brush here. I already have a puddle in my purple. So I can kind of dab it here on the side of my placemat or I could get the paper towel and I could dry it. So when I come back and there's, there's a science to it, you gotta figure it out because I just dried it too much. There could be a piece of paper that you put on the side because <laughs> it's not working for me. There we go. Ooh. So I got it. So you could always get a scrap piece of paper and do it until you get the dry brush mark and then you could go straight into your actual painting paper. Um, so yeah, there's a few different ways to try to figure it out um, so you can get the dry brush um, on purpose. <laughs> 